I wanna do some science. 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 Let's do some science on the Greg and Carl Science Explosion. Welcome to Greg and Carl Science Explosion. My name is Kilogram Carl. And I'm Gravity Greg. That's right, and we're gonna do some science for you today, but not ordinary science. What kind of science? We're doing physics. Physics today. today. Uh, what are we gonna learn? That's right, we are gonna learn all about Newton's three laws of motion. Those are good to know. Let's do it. Are you ready to do some physics? I'm ready to do it, but are they ready to do it? Are you ready to do some physics? Let's do physics. Let's do some physics! Let's first law states that a body at rest will stay at rest until acted upon by an outside force and we have an experiment to prove it that's right what do we need well first safety of course safety first always all the time second a drinking glass sounds good how about some pennies pennies are good and the third item you'll need for this experiment a simple piece of paper now what are we gonna do with all these well we're gonna put the piece of paper on top of the drinking glass. Sounds good. And it seems logical to me that we put all these pennies on top of the piece of paper, right? That's right. Pennies on top of the paper. There you go. Now, what is this? What's, what's going on here? Well, basically, the invisible force of gravity is pushing down on the pennies. I see. And the force of the paper is pushing up on the pennies to keep them at rest. Now, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to let the pennies fall down. We're going to let gravity do its job. And how are we going to do that? But we're going to take the piece of paper out from under there. I see. And just let them fall. I see. So gravity at work. You ready? Gravity at work. Here we go. Let's see if it works. Let's try it out. Beautiful. All the pennies stayed Amazing. there and fell to the bottom. That is physics at work. Isn't physics fun? Physics is a bunch of fun. Are you ready for more physics? I'm ready for more. Let's do more physics. Listen, there's so much physics in this, in this, in this little toy, this little, this simple toy. There's, there's a lot of force here, and we talked about it earlier, and he obviously showed you what happened. But there's a lot of force in this rubber band. And what's nice is, these are low in mass. These are low in weight, which means they can go very fast. So when there's a really big force acting on them, they go really, really far. When there's only a little bit of force acting on them, they really don't go that far. Okay, so, so, so show them how it's working there. Show them. All right, all right, watch, 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 watch. Here's the toy. You, you bet here. Is it better? Okay, come on, kids. Come on, come on, come on, kids. Here's the toy, all right? We're gonna put, oh, it's in. Okay, we're gonna, here, put it like this. Listen, I got it. You're gonna put the, you're gonna put the arrow in the toy, see? And, and the force of the rubber, the, listen, the force of the rubber band is gonna get caught up. This is, well, hold on, hold on. You can't even do it right. Listen, What's wrong with you? This thing's a fucking dollar, all right? It's cheap. It's a cheap thing. How can it get work? All right, there, there's a second law. There's a second law for you. <laughs> yeah, way to ruin my show. Listen, man, this Greg show. and Carl. Greg and Carl. No, no, this, <laughs> this show is ruined the second he with this. Well, folks, I hope you're enjoying the show so far. We're already at Newton's third law. And Newton's third law states that... Newton's third law state... I got an idea. Let's call Science Bear. Science Bear? Science Bear. Science Bear. You remember Science Bear. We sent Science Bear away. He's the smartest little science bear there is. I'll call him. Well, yeah, we sent him. Uh, you know, he's got the answers, basically. He's a, he's a very... He'll, he'll know dude. He's third law, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, I got something to drink. I gotta go. Hi, is Science Bear there? This is Science Bear! Hey, Science Bear, how you doing, man? Greggy, Greg, how are you? I'm great, how's the North Pole? Oh, it's cold, man, it's cold. Cold? Yeah, yeah, I hear that about the North Pole. Hey, listen, I got a question for you. Yes. Um, well, I'll cut straight to the point. Me, me and Carl, we forgot Newton's third law. You forgot Newton's third law? What kind of... Yeah, what... Jesus. Can you tell me Newton's third law real quick? Yes, I can tell you Newton's third law. It's very simple. You should know this because you're a good scientist. Here we go. Newton's third law states that for every action, there is an equal and an opposite a reaction. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Okay, I got it, man. Thanks a lot, thanks. Hey, hey, man, you remember that one, right? What, what, what? Hey, man, you call me sometime, right? 
I'll call you. I'll call Anytime, you. Anytime, Greggy Greg. All right, I will. Thanks. All right, I gotta go. The FBI is after me. Got to go. Bye. Okay. All right. Thanks, uh, Science Bear. Okay, so uh, Science Bear told us uh, Newton's third law. Man, was I uh, thirsty. I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, thirst. Okay. Thirsty. As I was saying, what did Science Bear have to say? He told me Newton's third law. That's great. What is it? Newton's third law is every action has an equal and opposite reaction. That's correct. Are we ready to do an experiment? I'm ready to do an experiment. I think it's experiment time. All right. Can we get a whole experiment? Whoa. Whoa. Here at the science lab for experiment number three. You only need a few things. You ready? Let's go. First, you need one of these long, stretchy balloons, the kind you make balloon animals out of. Then, you need a long piece of string, an ordinary drinking straw, and two pieces of tape. Well, here's what you do first, you blow up the balloon. Cut the straw into a two inch piece and tape it to the top of the balloon with the tape. Sounds simple. It is. We've already done that for you. Are you ready, Carl? I'm Carl. Are you ready, Greg? I'm ready, Carl. Let's do this. Kids, watch as Newton's third law comes to life inside of this balloon. Let's go. Here we go. Whoa! Yeah, baby! That was amazing. How did that happen? Well, the force of the air pushing out the balloon this way made the balloon travel that way. That's amazing. Science is so much fun. Science is great. Man. Thank you, Carl. Thank you, Greg. Boy, oh boy, did we learn a lot today. We learned about Newton's first law of motion and the penny trick. Carl here learned about Newton's second law of motion. That's right. And the science bear helped us out with the third law of motion. Thanks for watching. And join us next time on Greg and Carl's Science Explosion, where we'll be learning about quantum, quantum theory. theory. Thanks for watching. And thanks for learning. We'll see you next time.